at it again it's been uh, well over a year since I last played and uh, I'm gonna do something really stupid here and there might only ever be one episode so if this is the only episode you ever see consider it a, a gift um, if I have the patience to keep playing I'll go for it but no promises so here's what's gonna happen um, easy is too easy I beat the game on normal I got pretty good so I could probably beat it on hard, but what's the fun in that when you can play it on crushing difficulty? I consider myself pretty dang good at this game, so I don't think I'll have too many problems. So let's let's see what happens. What is this? Uh oh. Do I want to get to new? No. Start. Oh, I need a new save slot. Oh god. I hope I'm not going in over my head here. Because this could go really bad. But I have an advantage. I've already played it once. So I should be okay. This isn't going to be like... COD hard mode where you get shot once and you're dead. I at least have like a tiny bit of health, right? Hey, my guy, we're back. That's my blood. That's my blood. If I'm playing with less health, does that mean that the hypothermia and the snow is actually gonna kill me? Or are we not to that point of realism yet? Alright, the point of realism clearly still does not exist. Oh god. Sorry, this should be easy. I remember the trolls. Uh, do I remember the controls? Circle is to drop, I know that. Yep, alright, here we go. This is easy. I can't jump. Am I too tired? Oh, fuck me. I thought... I picked the wrong side and I was already dead. Can I go to the right? Did I already pick the wrong side? Oh, I can jump. Okay. Nope. See, this is easy. No, left. There we go. I know the combat's gonna be a lot different, but... Oh god. Really? I think if I just play it safe, I'll be fine. Yep. 
We don't mess those up. Get in. Get get in. Yep. I'm gonna go the whole time without dying. Uh oh. Get up! Okay, I'm, I don't like this camera angle. Now what? Yeah, easy. Easy reads. Oh, God. Oh, I blew this the first time. I messed up the jump. Not again. I'm good at this game now. Yep, here we go. Full on sprint through the train. And we're gonna hit the timing. Go, baby. Go, go, go. 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 Yep, easy. We don't die. Although I'll probably die to the very first guy I see. Or I'll die to the snow. <sighs> Can I skip since I've already seen this? Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! <laughs> The hell are you doing here? God damn it, now that I know what this guy does, uh -oh. I don't want to watch these cutscenes because he's a butt a cheek. <laughs> Come here. <sighs> I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge yeah, you're a sum of bitch. cash. We acquire a certain object for him. I am listening. Yeah. You're not gonna like this. Skip! No, you're out of your can't skip. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no. a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. I saw you to cheese stick. can't do this without your drink. You're the only one who's cracked it. And you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. Yeah, that's right. Speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the Harry Sack. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Yeah, 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 sure do. Go in through the sewer. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is... No, he's not. I hear you ask. I didn't. Kevin, but okay. That's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Me neither. We, that's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, mm. this is not worth any of it. It's good cheese. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Pretty good. Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasure. Oh yeah, isn't it that Russian guy? This was written who's by Marco Polo. who's yes, the bad guy leader in this thing? Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hate that guy. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just too much. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? No. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later. Yep. With only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded 
every detail of his Are that actually historically accurate or they make it up for the game? And the passengers. So so somewhere out there there were 13 ships mm. the Empress treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian mm. script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. Yep. So let's go, Skip! I can't skip. We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? Don't do it. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Don't. Don't say that. Oh, God. If I die immediately, I might just, I might just stop playing. I might not even upload this, who knows. I don't give no dams about treasures or any of that crap. Just going in. Can new things kill me? Like, like, can that land on me now or something? Not. We're gonna need a gun. Oh god. Wait, I forgot how to punch. Square, okay. Yep, here we go. Never a doubt. Oh god. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. Let's attract attention. Oh wait, I can press triangle again? No, I can't. Fuck. Yellow. Let's reload. Oh god. Circle? Nope. R1. <gasps> nope. What? Karma's a bitch. What just killed that man? Did he kill himself with his own nade? Is this crushing difficulty? Oh shit, it's easy. I got stuck in here last time. Oh, never mind. Do I not go that way? Okay, I did get stuck last time. What the hell? Oh, yep, here it is. Alright, so far one enemy faced, and I am perfect. This works. There we are. What are we looking at? Oh my god. I feel like I don't remember half of this crap. Which is probably not good. Am I knocked out again? Fuck. We had another cutscene. Hello. Uh, Hello. Oh. Well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? Oh, my man Drake doesn't foreplay. He gets to the action. Yeah. You might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? 
Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, <sighs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel fight, any fight, better, my fight. relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in mm, mm -hmm, on the mm -hmm. action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. Find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn. Mm -hmm. But Flynn. And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear together this time. I see. Until Don't believe this bitch. He can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Okay. That's my man right there. He's a player. Wake up, bitch! Ugh. That's right. All right, I don't like this now. Do I have to jump to that thing? Fuck it! Yep, that's right. Ah, uh, I think I go this way. Yep. I can still roll much faster. Oh my god. That actually kind of scared me. Oh god. Is that the dildo? It is the dildo. Grab it. God, why am I so itchy? Hide it in your ass. Or am I carrying a bag? Do I have a bag? Put it in a bag. Uh, I think my hands would freeze to that thing. Bro, how many cutscenes are in this? You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrol. Yeah, but they're down. good. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock <laughs> us up and throw away the sodden key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. No, we don't make mistakes. We're here. Do I actually have to play this part, or is there still a cutscene? So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble <sighs> through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable. Uh huh. Bastard. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm good. There. I haven't even died yet. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. Okay. Don't call me chum. This one here is me. 
All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure oh, you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Let's go, bitch. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Bitch. Uh, uh, God. Make sure you know where you're going. I made it to the first chapter without dying. I'm the best player to ever play the game.